Good afternoon, fam. It's your girl, Miss Diva Trucker 43. I'm coming to you today, the end of the year. Sorry, I haven't done a video, y'all. When I got home to go to uh, Biloxi, when I got there and I checked in, I delivered my load, checked in, and got to the hotel. When I woke up, I was sick. Uh, everything with the rain and the weather being outside and all that kind of stuff finally caught up with me so the last four days I've been like in the bed sleep taking medicine trying to get better uh, to get back on the road so now our Sean is sick so he's at home sick I think he caught what I got but I'm back on the road I came back out I think Wednesday I was supposed to come back out Tuesday but I came out Wednesday because I wasn't feeling good. Um, haven't been on the phone, haven't been talking too much because y'all, I was just miserable, um, throat sore, coughing, sinus, everything was just happening. So um, I picked up a load coming out of Collinsville, Mississippi, Collins, Mississippi, going up to uh, Des Moines, Iowa. So I took that up there, I dropped that off, I picked up a load in um, Sioux, is it Sioux City, Sioux Falls, one of them. I picked up another load in uh, Council Bluff, yeah, Council Bluff, Iowa. Now I'm taking the load from Council Bluff, Iowa, all the way to Manchester, PA. So if y'all ever been on Highway 80, um, at this time of year, it is what it is. It's five degrees right now. It's cold. There was a, a snowstorm last night out here. The snow piles was out here. Um, I'm at the rest area, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all where I'm at. I'm at the rest area, so it is snowing. They cleaned most of the roads. And uh, I gotta go across 80 all day, today and tomorrow, 1,200 miles. So um, I should be in uh, Manchester, PA uh, by tomorrow. And uh, hopefully I'll get something out of there coming back. But my whole route is gonna be nothing but snow, ice, everything. So um, just trying to be careful to make it, make it across. Um, but yeah. Uh, let me let's see what I wanted to tell y'all. Oh, I wanted to uh, tell y'all about what's going to happen with my channel for 2018. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for the ones who are subscribed to my channel, the ones that watch my channel, the ones that really support me, encourage me, motivate me, and inspire me to do better and to do more. I really want to say from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it and thank you for sticking with me throughout the 2017, okay? With that being said, and y'all, we at 15, over 15,000 subscribers. Uh, within the next month, I should be at 16,000 pretty soon. Hopefully, with all y'all support, please continue to like the videos. Please continue to share the videos. Uh, but in 2018, what I'm going to focus on, I'm going to try to do something a little bit different than anybody else, okay? So, at least you can get um, something different that nobody else is doing, okay? Y'all know that I started the um, Miss Divas Recruiting Services. So, I recruit for all... 50 over 50 companies okay so what I'm going to be doing is I am going to cater to uh, inexperienced people that want to get into the trucking industry want to know how they can get their CDL what schools that they can go to I'm also going to uh, cater to the ones that got their CDL but they don't have any experience and they need to get some training at uh, different companies okay I'm also going to cater to uh, experienced drivers either if you're a company driver you're looking to go into lease purchase you want to know what the numbers are what uh, you're looking at as far as your settlement statement I will be able to break down the cost the fixed cost at each company so you can know uh, is that something that you may be interested in I will also be catering to people that's on over the road truckers that want to maybe go regional dedicated 
try to find something local more close to home something like that if you're looking for a switch that's what you're going to find on my channel i am going to be bringing you um different companies companies that a lot of people don't talk about but i'll be bringing you their pay what they accept what kind of trailers what's the fixed cost of their uh, lease purchase uh what uh um, what benefits that they have how many miles that you can expect at that company okay so it will better give you a decision on if you want to switch over and try something new or you're better off where you're at okay but i will give you a wide variety of places such as roadrun and all their companies okay a lot of people don't know how many companies roadrunner has um i will be giving you um uh, Averitt, companies like Venture Logistics, companies like Epps, companies like, you know, a lot of companies that offer great pay for company drivers. I will be giving you that information. I will also, um, um, also be working on still the work at home. Y'all, the work at home program is just taken off by itself, okay? I don't have to do too much with that. All I do is approve people that want to work from home. That's all I do. They go in there, they pick their jobs, and they go to work. They start their training, and they do that, okay? Um, with the Facebook advertising, I'm getting anywhere between 20 applications a week, okay? So that's going excellent. Um, I'm going to be focusing on... Uh, bringing you information for trucks where you can go and get a truck from if you have good good credit bad credit freight liner kenworth all the um all the companies that uh all the companies that sell trucks all the companies that sell trailers um the price of new trailers the price of used trailers okay i'm gonna be bringing you that i'm gonna be talking to you in 2018 about factoring companies uh if you get your own authority who can you run your bills through okay uh letting you know about insurance the cost of insurance to cover your truck so i'm gonna be bringing you that type of information also with the schooling i'm gonna teach y'all and i am going to develop a program that uh is going to be like the cdl test okay well we're going to talk about the air brakes the uh and it's going to be multiple choice and you're going to be better prepared so if you want to get your permit at home you can go ahead and do that before you get into the school okay so um i'm also going to be uh focusing on hopefully this year i will get my broker's license okay and see where that takes me okay so that's going to be later on down the line hopefully this year i'll be working on my broker's license now with the authority if i get it if i choose to get an authority i'm not going to be buying trucks and trailers okay i'm not going to buy trucks and trailers so i could be uh putting people in my trucks and all that kind of stuff i'm not doing that if i do anything with an authority i will probably get an authority and let people run under my authority and charge them a fee to run under my authority okay but I'm not interested. This would be for people that already got their truck, already got their trailer, already got everything. They just need somebody to run up under, okay? So um, um, that's what I'll be doing. So, uh, yeah. So if you own your own or you got your own truck and trailer and you just don't want to lease on to a mega carrier or anything like that and you want to be able to pick your own loads, I will probably get my authority and let people run under my authority. Um, working on my broker's license, that's some money. So that's going to take time. Arshon will be 18, October the 23rd of um, this year coming up in 2018. My goal with him is October the 23rd, he will be off to trucking school. What school he'll be going to, I don't know. I'm going to try to get him into KLLM first, okay? But if I can't get him into KLLM, he will be probably going somewhere like CR England, Swift, or whatever until he get his license, okay? I plan on, um, 
I plan on training Arshad on the truck for at least a year, okay? With him driving with me on the truck for at least a year, okay? Once he's comfortable and he's okay and he's able to know what he's doing, um, I plan on putting my other son as a rider on the truck with him. So it will be both of them on the truck and then they will be able to run uh, this truck, okay? So, uh, and you know, I will be able to have control over the situation as far as where they go and what they do, okay? So, I'm planning on putting my own child in a truck, but it won't be 2018, it will probably be 2019 before I start really trying to step away, okay? Um, but other than that, y'all, that is basically it. Um, I'm putting in applications, congratulate the ones that are going off to trucking school the beginning of the year. I still got some more applications uh, I'm putting in. Y'all, Christmas season, I mean, the Christmas holiday has just threw me off. I planned on working uh, throughout the uh, weekend while I was at home, but I wasn't able to do anything because I was sick, uh, running a fever, like the flu, whatever, and I wasn't able to do anything, okay? But... January 1, we are going full force as far as getting into school, uh, finding other opportunities out here for you. If you're tired of leasing, you want to do company with benefits, I'm the girl that you're going to call. So I'm going to bring um, a lot of information to you, but it's just going to be on uh, companies. I have not worked at uh, these companies, but... I can give you what they offer, okay? So you don't have to worry about calling all over the place, putting it, having 50 million people call you. You can know what it is the company uh, offers. If you're interested in that, you will call me on my 1-800 number, 1-800-620-9235, and I will get you started in the direction that you need to go to be a part of whatever company that you choose, okay? So that's what we're working on. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I just wanted to come and give y'all this quick little update, uh, before we go into the 2018, uh, year. Um, and other than that, just keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward. But yeah, everything is taking off. Everything's in place. I'm working on some marketing ideas. Uh, and uh, that's it y'all that that's all I got going on so still driving I did not plan on being in Iowa over the New Year's but it happened I'm dealing with it okay so pray for me that I make it across here okay and everything's fine and I will be back to you um, either the first of the year or probably tomorrow with my upcoming video the next video you will probably see is uh i'm starting with uh cfi okay there's not a lot of information on cfi so i'm starting with that and that will be uh the information i bring on that is going to be people that graduated from cdl school that don't have experience okay my experienced drivers otr drivers lease owner operators companies i will be bringing those companies at a later date but i wanted to start at a beginning from not having your cdl to getting your cdl to over to experienced driver and what's out there for you with the experience that you have okay uh, what company pays what okay so with that being said other than that I got to get out of here y'all I'm uh, I'm like 13 hours away so I think I'm gonna do eight hours today maybe eight hours a uh, couple of hours tomorrow I gotta wash clothes I'll be on I-80 so probably shut down on the toll road somewhere but other than that that's it i got ripley all groomed up come here rip come here he got his hair cut you see he all clean he got his hair cut he got his bath and everything for christmas so he got that done <coughs> But yeah, other than that, y'all, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.